Hello, me Shomit Paul. Welcome you to Catalyst Institute of Chemistry. Today we will be discussing about an important topic that is mole concept, which is a very confusing chapter or a confusing topic, and it is very important for the students, those who are appearing for their boards examination this year, and this will also be needed for those students who would be taking up science in class eleven or class twelve or for class twelve students. So let us start. Now we know that any substance can be classified in three categories: elements, compounds, and mixtures. Now, in case of elements, the smallest unit is atom. But there are some elements also whose smallest unit are molecules. As for example, oxygen. We write oxygen as O2. We write hydrogen as H2. We write chlorine as Cl2. As because these are some non-metallic elements whose smallest unit are molecules. But in case of compounds, the smallest unit is always a molecule. So let us start by discussing about elements. Now, when we write Na twenty three eleven. This means that sodium has atomic weight twenty three and atomic number eleven. This means that one atom of Na is twenty three times heavier than one twelve. of the mass of one carbon atom now as we all know that carbon has atomic weight 12 and atomic number 6 so 1/12 of 12 is what 1 this means that one atom of sodium is 23 times heavier Than one twelfth of the mass of one carbon atom. Carbon is taken as the standard, keeping which the weight of other elements are measured. Okay. Now, this writing twenty three here doesn't mean that one atom of sodium weighs twenty three. It means that one atom of sodium is twenty three times heavier than one twelfth of the mass of one carbon atom. If I say that I am three times heavier than you, it doesn't mean that ah uh, that my weight is three. It means that whatever your weight is, my weight is three times heavier than that. Now, next part we will be doing is. gram atoms now what is this gra term gram atom all about gram atom whenever i represent any atomic weight in grams it is known as one gram atom which means one gram atom of any that is sodium Is equals to twenty three gram. One gram atom of Ca is equals to forty gram. This means whenever atomic weights are expressed in grams, so that weight is equals to one gram atom of that element. Now, what is the formula to find number of gram atoms? now number of gram atoms number of gram atoms is equal to weight provided divided by actual weight what does this mean this means that if i provide you 
with 4 gram of calcium. This means number of gram atoms is equals to 4 by 40. Why 4? Because weight provided by me is 4. And why 40? As because the actual atomic weight of calcium is 40. So 4 by 40 is equals to 0 0.1 gram atoms. Next we will discuss about another term that is gram molecule. Now what does this term gram molecule signifies? Whenever we represent the molecular weight of any molecule in grams, so that is equivalent to one gram atom. Now, what do you mean by this? Oxygen O2 has an atomic, has a molecular weight of 32 gram, means one gram molecule of oxygen is equals to 32 gram. If I say CaCO3 means 1 gram molecule of CaCO3 is equals to 100 gram. Why 100? As because calcium has atomic weight 40, carbon 12, 40 plus 12, 52 plus oxygen 16 3 is a 48, 52 plus 48 is 100. So whenever I am representing a molecule of a compound in its molecular weight, so the molecular weight expressed in grams is equal to 1 gram molecule. Now, what is the formula to find number of gram molecules? Number of gram molecule is equals to again weight provided divided by actual weight. Let us do this with an example. Suppose you have 2 gram NaOH and you are told to find it out the number of gram molecule of NaOH. Then what will you do? You will write number of gram molecule is equal to 2 by 40. Why 40? As because NaOH, sodium hydroxide has a molecular weight of 40. So 2 by 40 is 1 by 20 that is 0 0.05 gram molecule. Next, we will discuss about moles. Now, what does this term mole indicate? M O L E mole. Now, according to the definition, one mole of any substance is that amount of substance which contains Avogadro number of particles. Now, what is this Avogadro number? Avogadro number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Now, one mole of Na is equal to 23 gram. One mole of CaCO3 is equal to 100 gram. So, one mole of any substance is its atomic weight or molecular weight which is expressed in grams. And that amount always contains this Avogadro number of particles. Means 23 gram sodium contains in it 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles or atoms of sodium. Again, 100 gram of calcium carbonate also contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of calcium carbonate. 
Why I am using the term molecule in case of calcium carbonate? As because calcium carbonate is a compound and its smallest unit is what? Its smallest unit is a molecule. Now, if I say that find the number of moles, find the number of moles in 24.5 gram of H2SO4 then what will you do? You will write number of moles is equals to again weight provided divided by actual weight now what is the weight provided here? It is 24.5 gram and what is the actual weight of H2SO4? Let us count it. 2 into 1, 2 hydrogens are present, 2 into 1, 2 plus sulfur 32, 2 plus 32 is 34 and oxygen 16 forza is 64, 64 plus 34 is 98. So it will come to 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 moles now if it is told now that how many molecules of H2SO4 are present in 24.5 gram of H2SO4 then what will you do I have told you that one mole of any substance contains Avogadro number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles so 0 0.25 mole will contain 0 0.25 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so is the, uh, I hope this is clear to you now we will do another uh, sub another topic and that is molar volume now what does this term molar volume signifies molar volume means the volume occupied by one mole of any substance of a gas rather at STP molar volume now suppose I have this gas is H2 H2O2 Cl2 CH4 CO2 SO2 now all are gases hydrogen have a molecular weight 2 gram oxygen 32 gram chlorine 71 grams methane 16 grams CO2 44 grams SO2 64 grams now all these weights which I have written all are molecular weights molecular weight of hydrogen is 2 that of oxygen is 32 chlorine is 71 methane is 16 CO2 is 44 SO2 is 64 now as we have done earlier one mole of any substance contains Avogadro number of particles this means 2 gram of hydrogen contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of hydrogen again 32 gram oxygen also will contain Avogadro number of uh, oxygen molecules 71 gram of chlorine will also contain Avogadro number of chlorine molecules and now the term molar volume one mole of any gas at STP contains or occupies a volume of 22.4 liters one mole of any gas at STP now you people are familiar with this term STP that is standard temperature and pressure standard temperature is 273 Kelvin and standard pressure is 760 mm of Hg so one mole of any gas at STP occupies a volume of 22.4 liters or 22,400 ml or 
22,400 centimeter cube or 22.4 dm cube, which means that 2 gram hydrogen or 32 gram oxygen or 71 gram chlorine or 64 gram methane or 44 gram CO2 or 64 gram SO2, they all occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure. Now from here you can get one type of sum that is find the volume occupied by 2 gram of CH4. What will you do in this case? You know that 16 gram CH4 16 gram 16 is the molecular weight of CH4 so 16 gram CH4 occupies volume 22.4 liters so 1 gram CH4 will occupy 22.4 by 16 and so 2 gram 2 gram CH4 will occupy 22.4 by 16 into 2 this amount of liters. So molar volume is that volume which is occupied by one mole of any gas at SQ. Hope you find this video useful for understanding this topic. For all admission related queries you can visit our website www.catalystclasses.co.in my best wishes for all the students, those who are appearing for their boards this year. Thank you and best of luck.